Oh, glory to God. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. Lord, we glorify your name. The one worthy of praise. The one worthy of honor. Lord God, I exalt your name. I give you thanks. I give you praise. I give you honor. I magnify your holy name right now, Lord. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. We exalt your name this hour. We give you thanks. We give you praise. We give you glory. Thou art the everlasting Father. Thou art the Prince of Peace. Thou art the fairest of 10,000 to our souls. We give you praise, Jesus. We give you glory. We honor your great name, Lord Jesus. For you alone is worthy of praise. You alone is altogether good. You alone are my strength, my shield. You alone does my praises ring. Oh God, you are worthy. Wherever you are right now, just begin to give God thanks. Begin to glorify his name. Begin to worship him for who he is. Begin to give God thanks for who he is. Not for what he has done, but for just who he is towards us. Lord, we bow in your presence, Lord Jesus. Father God, we bow in your presence in the name of Jesus. You said, God Almighty, no one comes to you but through your Son, Jesus Christ. So as we come to you right now, Lord God, we come to you in no other name. We come to you through no other advocate but the advocate which is Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Lord, we give up everything of ourselves right now and we incline everything of us unto you father we extol you lord we magnify your name this midnight hour because you are worthy of all praise you are worthy of all honor mighty god we exalt your name this midnight hour. Let your praises rise from the inside. Because all I want is for you to be glorified. For you to be lifted high. Oh God, we exalt your name. We exalt your name. As you're coming on, welcome to you. Natasha, welcome to you. Carmen Brown, welcome to you. Renson Wright, welcome to you. Dina Sugitan, Matere Bashata, welcome to Georgia Can't Hide the Truth, End Time Ministries, Midnight Prayer. Begin to share the broadcast to your friends, your loved ones, your family members, your foes. Just begin to share the broadcast. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. We magnify your name. Yes, Lord. We glorify your name. Yes, Lord. Arise on this page. Arise in our lives. Arise. This new day, 
Arise, Lord God, arise and let your enemies be scattered. Lord God, we come to you empty. We come, Lord God, with expectation. We come in your presence, Lord God, with our cups turned up to receive a blessing from you. Oh God, won't you pour in us? Oh God, won't you use us? Oh God, be magnified in our lives. Be glorified, Jesus. Be glorified, Lord God. Be glorified. Because all I want is for you to be glorified. For you to be lifted high. Rabasata. Lord God, as I come in your presence, as we come in your presence this midnight hour, Lord God, we put away everything that is not of you. And right now, God, whatever has happened and occurred already during this day, we rest it aside. We let self be slain right now. Let everything that is of us die and let the spirit of God arise in us. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we bless your name. Lord, we invite you in our atmosphere right now. We invite you. We invite your presence. Welcome in this place. Welcome in this place. Welcome in this place. Saturate us, Lord. Sanctify us, oh God Almighty. Help us, Lord God, to be worthy to come into your presence. Present us righteous and holy before you right now, Lord God. Oh God, yes, Lord. We present ourselves as a living sacrifice. Sanctify, oh God Almighty, this sacrifice right now. Lord God, let self-righteousness, let self be put down and your Holy Spirit arise in us. Right now, God, we tune in to the heavenly host. We tune in to the kingdom of heaven as we come seeking your face. Your word said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all your righteousness and every other thing will be added unto us. Lord God, we come seeking your presence. We come to seek your face. Lord God, you said if we draw nigh unto you, you will draw nigh unto us. You said, God, if we seek you, Lord God, we will find you. So right now, God, we let self be slain. Lord God, everything that is of self, let it die. And you arise in us right now. Lord God, we bind up principalities. We bind up powers. We bind up rulers of darkness of this world. We bind up principalities and powers. Spiritual wickedness in high places. In the first and second event. Right now. We bind up every serpentine. Every monitoring agent. Every demonic surveillance system. Every strong man on Facebook. We bind them right now in the name of Jesus. We release the fire of God on the airwaves right now. We release the fire of God. Upon this page. In the name of Jesus. We release the fire of God. Wherever you are watching from. In the four corners of the earth. We release the fire of God right now. In the atmosphere. In the east. We release the fire of God in the west. In the north. In the south. Lord God. In the first and second heavens. Lord Jesus Christ. In the uttermost parts of the sea. Yeketerebashata. We release the fire of God. Every rebellious spirit, every spirit of rebellion, right now, in the name of Jesus, we cast you out. In the name of Jesus, every spirit of rebellion, we cast you out. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, every spirit of rebellion, in the name of Jesus, right now. 
we cast you out. Like how Satan Lucifer was cast out of heaven. That is how we are casting the spirit of rebellion from out of our lives. Because we will not be rebellious. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord God, we will not be children of disobedience. We will not be rebellious children. We will not rebel against the Holy Spirit. We will not rebel against the word of God. We will not rebel against the commandments of God. Because the spirit of rebellion is that of witchcraft. So we will not rebel, Lord God. I was looking up the word rebellion. I was looking at the meaning of it and so I went into Google and I did my own little research because I said this spirit is the spirit that caused Lucifer to be cast out of heaven to be cast out of heaven and when I look it up the word rebellion said, and the reason why I am teaching before we pray is because I want us to know, to have knowledge about what we are up against. So you wouldn't, we wouldn't say that, you know, we are ignorant. To what I am talking about every midnight. The reason why I, I try to teach about the kind of spirits that is there and exposing them. Is because I want us to be aware of what we are up, up against and the dangers of those spirits. Elsa, just believe God tonight. And as you believe God tonight, as you tap in, I believe that, you know, you will be delivered. We will be delivered. Because we all have erred. We all have our shortcomings. Where the spirit of rebellion is concerned. So I want you to be open-minded. To receive a, your deliverance from this spirit. Rebellion is an act of violent or open resistance to an established government. Rebellion is an open act. Of violence to a ruler. The action or process of resisting authority. Control or convention. Defiance or disobedience against authority. That is what the Google gave me a definition. That is the Google definition that I looked up. So rebellion is the opposite of obedience. And let me first say that rebellion is an open door to the demonic in a person's life. Rebellion is mentioned about 130 times in the Bible itself. 
First Samuel chapter 15 and 23 describes rebellion as that of witchcraft. It falls into the same category as witchcraft. for your rebellion. We see Lucifer. He was cast out of heaven because of his rebellion. We see Moses. When God told him to speak to the rock and he smite the rock. And because of this, his consequence was he did not inherit the promised land. David, he wanted to build the temple of God. But God told him, no, you cannot build my temple. Why? Because there is too much blood on your hands. We saw Jonah. Those of you who know the story about Jonah. Jonah was swallowed by the fish because God sent him to Nineveh and he said he is going to Tarshish. He rebelled and hopped on a boat to go to Tarshish that God did not send him when God sent him to Nineveh. We saw how rebellion killed a husband and wife in the book of St. Acts. In the name of Ananias and Sapphira. When they lied to the apostle and said that they sold the, the, the land for a certain amount which they did not do. And because of that open act of rebellion, rebellious lies that they told, they died. Right in the sanctuary. Remember what I said, rebellion is an open door to the demonic. When you're a rebellious person, any kind of spirit can enter into your life. Any kind of spirit. And when I say any kind, I mean demonic spirits. Spirit of darkness could enter into you. chapter 15 verses 2 to 23 and it reads thus said the Lord of hosts I remember that which Amalek did to Israel how he laid wait for him in the way when he was came up from Egypt now go and smite Amalek and utterly destroy all that they have and spear them not but slay both man and woman infant and suckling ox and sheep camel and ass and Saul gathered the people together and numbered them in Tilaim 200,000 footmen and 10,000 men of Judah. And Saul came to a city of Amalek and laid wait in the valley. 
And Saul said unto the Kenites, Go, depart, get you down from among the Amalekites, lest I destroy you with them. For he showed kindness to all the children of Israel when they came out of Egypt. So the Kenites departed from among the Amalekites and small smote the Amalekites from Avila until thou comest to Shur that is over against Egypt. And he took Agag, the king of the Amalekites, alive and utterly destroyed all the people with the edge of the sword. But Saul, I'm at verse 9. So you could turn your Bibles with me. 1 Samuel chapter 15. And I'm now at verse 9. And Saul and the people speared Agag. And the best of the sheep. And of the oxen. And of the fatlings. And the lambs. And all that was good. And would not utterly destroy them. But everything that was vile and refused. That they destroyed utterly. Then came the word of the Lord unto Samuel. Say. And this Samuel is a prophet of God. This prophet was the son of Hannah that prayed and asked God to release unto her a child whose womb was barren. That is, oh, good night, good night, my darling. Um, Pastor, Prophetess Natalie J. Highly favored. It's good to have you, woman of Woman of God, pastor, prophetess, it's wonderful to have you. So this Anna was, this Samuel was the son of Anna who Anna had given back to the Lord. That is who this Samuel is. So, Samuel arose early to meet Saul. No, let me read from verse 10, yes. Then came the word of the Lord. It repenteth me that I have the blood of Jesus is against the enemy. The blood of Jesus is against the enemy. Yes, the enemy is trying something with the internet, but it will not work. In the name of Jesus, we stand firm in the name of Jesus. And so the word of the Lord came unto Samuel saying, It repenteth me that I have set up Saul to be king, for he is turned back from following me. And have not performed my commandments. And it grieved Samuel, and he cried unto the Lord all night. And when Samuel arose early to meet Saul in the morning, it was told Samuel, saying, Saul came to Carmel, and behold, he set him up a place, and is gone about, and passed on, and gone down to Gilgal. And Samuel came to Saul, and Saul said unto him, Blessed be thou of the Lord. I have performed the commandments of the Lord. And Samuel said, What meaneth this bleating of the sheep in my ears and lowing of the oxen which I hear? And Saul said, They have brought them from the Amalekites. 
For the people spared the best of the sheep and of the oxen to sacrifice unto the Lord thy God. And the rest we have utterly destroyed. Then Samuel said unto Saul, Stay, and I will tell thee what the Lord had said to me this night. And he said unto him, Say on. Hmm. And Samuel said, When thou was little in thine own sight, was thou not made the head of the tribes of Israel? And the Lord anointed thee king over Israel? And the Lord sent thee on a journey and said, Go and utterly destroy the sinners, the Amalekites, and fight against them until they be consumed? Wherefore, then didst thou not obey the voice of the Lord, but didst fly upon the spoil and didst evil in the sight of the Lord. And Saul said unto Samuel, Yea, I have obeyed the voice of the Lord and have gone the way which the Lord sent me and have brought Agag, the king of Amalek and have utterly destroyed the Amalekites. But the people took up the spoil, sheep and oxen, the chief of the things which should have been utterly destroyed to sacrifice unto the Lord thy God in Gilgal. And Samuel said, Had the Lord has great delight in birth offering and sacrifice? As in obeying the voice of the Lord. Behold. To obey is better than sacrifice. And to hearten. Than the fat of rams. For rebellion. Is a sin. Of witchcraft. And stubbornness. Is as iniquity. And idolatry. Because thou has rejected the word of the Lord. He has also rejected thee from being king. Rebellion. Is as the sin. Of witchcraft. Are you watching me right now. And you have rebelliousness And stubbornness. Ruling your life. Stiff nakedness. God give you a commandment. God told Sam, Sam Saul. Through the prophet. To destroy the Amalekites. To kill the egg of the woman, the children, the breast, the children on the babes, on the breast, the animals, everything. And Saul disobeyed God. And because of this disobedience, Saul was removed from being king. The Holy Spirit withdraw from Saul. Rebellion grieves the Holy Spirit and causes your enemy or your enemies to fight against you. If you rebel against the word of God and spurn his counsel, meaning God can't send the prophet Samuel to counsel Saul and tell him how he should do what he needs to do 
in order to move to the next level. And Saul disobeyed. When you rebel against the word of God, you will sit in darkness and in the shadow of death. When we rebel against the commandments of the Lord, the hand of the Lord will be against us. If we are willing and obedient, we will eat of the blessings and of the fat of the land. But if we refuse, if we refuse and rebel, we will be devoured with the sword. For the mouth of the Lord had spoken it. When you are rebellious, you will dwell in a dry land. Nothing will become of your life. You will not be productive. Your life will not become fruitful. You will not grow. You will not develop. For if God did not spear the angels when they sinned but cast them into hell and committed them to the chains of gloomy darkness to be kept until the day of judgment so it is when we become rebellious you cannot say that you're a child of God and you're having this rebellious kind of stiff naked, you know, kind of way about you. There is a doorway for demons to manifest in you. You do not cooperate. War to the rebellious children. That take counsel, but not of me, says the Lord. Saul did not take counsel from Samuel, God's servant. And because of that, he lost. He lost his crown. He lost his palace. He lost his inheritance. He lost his life. He lost his generation. The spirit of rebelliousness, rebellion. Those who commit rebellion will be delivered into, into the hands of their enemies. Oh my God. Spirit of rebellion, leave my life. Even when Peter and Paul, there were the Peter and the apostles, when they came under persecution and the scribes and the Pharisees surrounded them, they said to them, they beat them, they marred them. They said we must obey God rather than man. What did God tell you? What did the Holy Spirit tell you? Why are you rebelling against the Holy Spirit? Why are you rebelling against the word of God? Why are you rebelling against the commandments of God? You are committing the sin of witchcraft. So if you never know, you know now. If you never know, you know now. 
the sin of rebellion is like that of witchcraft. When God tells you to do something his way, you do it God's way. If God tells you to jump, do not walk. If God tells you to shout, do not talk, you better shout. When God gives you a directive and, and show you the method of getting that thing done, do it the way in which God directed you to do it. Because the, 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 the rebellious spirit is a sin of witchcraft. No matter how nice you is, no matter the good that you do, the Bible says we must submit to one another. The reverence for Christ. Let no man deceive you with empty words. Because when somebody comes and tell you how to do what you're doing, you're under the, the directive of men. And you would have to pay the price. Saul told Samuel that the people made him do what he did. The people took the best of the sheep and the ox and even the king Agag. The people told me, you know how much persons are suffering right now because of what people told them. And they, they, they give in to the directive of people and neglect the commandment that God has given them. There was a young prophet that they, they, the prophet sent to warn a king, I think in, in, in first Kings or second Kings, one of those scriptures. And God told him, when you go up to that king, when you go up in that nation, do not eat, do not drink. Just deliver the word and just Go back where you're coming from. Indeed, he went and he followed the instruction. But there was an old prophet in the land. And this old prophet ran down this young man. And when he ran down this young man, he told him a lie. How God said he must come by him. And he went by this old prophet and this old prophet convinced him to eat. When God gave him the directive, do not eat. And because it came under the instruction of the name of the of prophets, he went and he ate. And the same old prophet that fed him. The same old prophet that instructed him and said, God say, which was a lie. Turned to him and said, didn't God tell you not to eat? Didn't God tell you not to eat? And right away, God sent a word to this old prophet to tell the young prophet that he will die. And surely enough. On his way going where he was, was supposed to initially went in the first place. Lions met him on the way. And it killed him. It did not even eat him. But they, it killed him. His young life was cut out because of disobedience. Obedience! Is better than sacrifice. Obedience is better than sacrifice. 
and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. Oh God Almighty, a lot of persons are walking around right now rejected of God. Why? They are rejected of God because they have rebelled against the instruction of God. God tell you do not go down that road and you went and you did it your friend's way. You went and you did it your husband's way. You went and you did it your wife way. You went and you did it your pastor way. You went and you did it your sister and your brother way. God did not told you to do it that way. How come you end up and do things that way when the prophet of God under the instruction of the Holy Ghost told you and instructed you not to go down that road. So now you're going to lose out on your destiny. Now you're going to lose out on your blessing. Now you're going to lose out. Because why? You did not follow the instructions. You went and you did things your way. And you went and you did things your way. You did not follow the manuscript. You did not follow the instruction. You went and did things your way. And now you have lost. Do not blame God. Do not blame the woman of God. Do not blame the man of God. Because you did not follow the instruction. And because you did not follow the instruction and the manuscript. That is why you did not win the battle. You did not win the case. Because why? Because you did not follow the instruction. The prophet instructed you speak the truth. Speak it every you went and you tell a lie. And then you expect to get the victory. No. Touch yourself. Say, I'm going to follow the instructions of the Lord. I myself, you must obey the voice of the Lord. Obey. Isaiah 30, 30 and 1, God cried out and he said, Oh, stubborn children. Oh, stubborn children, declares the Lord. Who carry out a plan, but not mine? You carry out the plan, but the plan was not God's plan. And who make alliance? But not of my spirit. What kind of alliance did you make? God did not bind you together with that person. But you went and you make an alliance. Adding sin unto sin. Sin unto sin. When you're rebellious, you walk in the way, and the way that you're walking is not a good way. Because you're following your own devices, deceiving your own self. And then you want to say, God. When things did not turn out your way. God you did not do this. And you did not do that. Did you hold your side of the bargain? Did you hold your end of the bargain? Because if you had hold your end of the bargain. Victory would have been yours. Because the helper the Holy Spirit. Whom the Father sent. Teach us 
and bring to remembrance all that God has said unto us. All. The devil, Lucifer, is rebellious. Is rebellious. And that is why when they came up against Jesus, Jesus had to differentiate between the, the children of the devil and the children of God. He said to them, the rebellious, the disobedient, he said to them, you are of your father, the devil. And your will is to do the desire of your father. He was a murderer from the beginning. The devil. And has nothing to do with the truth. Because there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks out of his own character. For he is a liar. And the father of liars. Lies. Rebellious, disobedient Lucifer. Rebelled against the words of the Lord. Rebelled against the Holy Spirit. Rebelled against the commandments of God. Rebelled against the God's prophets and God's pastors. Rebelled, rebelled, rebelled. Rebel. You just want to have your own way. Do things your way. Because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord. You have rejected the word of the Lord. We have rejected. Ah, Shaturabosha. If we're honest with ourselves, me included, we could look in our lives and see the rebelliousness, the rebellious state that we were in. Especially me as a teenager. Very rebellious. I paid the consequences dearly. Because I was stiff naked. I was stubborn. I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson. When I came to know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. I used to be so rebellious. I look in myself and I said no more rebelliousness. Caused me to lose out. On a lot of opportunities. Lose out. On a lot of blessings. Lose out. Oh Jesus, I repent, Lord God. I repent, Lord God, of my rebellion. I repent, Lord God, of my stubbornness. Is that your prayer? 
I repent. I repent. I repent, Lord, because I did not do things your way. I did it my way. Would you be so honest to say? Oh God, forgive me. Oh God, give me another chance. Let grace and mercy be extended to me, oh God. Lord God, let your grace and your mercy be extended to me. Let mercy rerun my life, Lord. Give me another chance. Are you crying out? Shakandala basataya. Rebebebebe shatoro bosha. Roko to roko shatata. Deliver me, O God, from this spirit of rebellion. Rebelliousness. Lord God, I repent of my arrogance. I repent of my stubbornness. I repent of my pride. I repent of my ignorance, Lord. Stretch out your mighty hand, Lord God. Stretch out your hands of mercy towards me, O oh God. Towards your children, O oh God Almighty. Towards us right now, Jesus. Forgive us of our rebelliousness. O oh God, remove this stony heart away from me. Give me a heart of flesh. Give me a heart of repentance. Oh God, blot out my transgressions. Blot out all my transgressions. Yekotorobosha. Lord God, rebelliousness is of witchcraft. Lord God, witchcraft is not my portion. Rebelliousness is not my portion. Disobedience is not my portion. Oh God, I repent before you, oh God. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Saturate me, oh God. Deliver me, Jesus. Clean me up, oh God. Makondolabosha. Forgive me. Let me walk in your way. Let me walk in your truth. Let me walk in your commandments. Let my life please the Holy Ghost. Let my ears hear. And let my feet walk. Let my eyes see. What the Spirit of God wants me to see. I will not walk in disobedience. I will not be rebellious. I refuse to be rebellious. Lord God. I know. And I've come to 
recognize that it's better to, to be obedient than to make sacrifice because obedience is better than sacrifice. Lord, magnify yourself in my life. Magnify who you are in my life. Let flesh die and let the Holy Spirit arise. Let my way die. Let me, O oh God Almighty self, be subjected to the Spirit of God in the name of Jesus. Wash me, O oh God. Rabosa. Cleanse me, O oh God. Saturate me, O oh God. Purify me, O oh God. Rinse me, O oh Jesus. Rindelebasata. Detox me, O oh God, from every spirit of rebellion. Because I am a child of God. I must walk in obedience. I must walk in obedience. I must walk in obedience. Spirit of disobedience. Spirit of rebelliousness. Leave my life. Spirit of stubbornness. I cast you down. If you have come through my generation... I stand against you, the Spirit of God. Lift up a standard against you right now, your spirit of rebelliousness. I refuse to have you in my life. I refuse to have you direct my life. I refuse to have you Yadabo infiltrate my life. I refuse to have you manipulate my life. Spirit of rebellion, I cast you out. I cast you out. I take authority over you, you rebellious spirit. You will not cause me to lose out on my benefits from the kingdom of God in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I submit myself to God. I submit my hands. I submit my feet. I submit my ears. I submit my tongue. I submit my hands. Lord God, my body is a temple of God. No demon of rebellion will have an open door in my life. In the name of Jesus. Lord God, let your spirit of obedience take over. Take me over. Spirit of obedience. Shedorosha Matarabaya Shata Rokoto Robosha Mandilio Sandai Rikiti Ribasata. I am too close to my heavenly home to turn back now. Your spirit of rebelliousness, you will not cause me to lose out on my heavenly blessing. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Rabosa! Break and destroy every altar of rebelliousness. Every altar. Makundrubusha. Every curse of rebelliousness. Rubandiliosa. Rebede kato. I reject you. I renounce you. I nullify you. In the name of Jesus. Lord God, I pray for the spirit of submission. To take over my life. In the name of Jesus. 
Rebede, I will submit. I will submit to your will. I will submit to your ways. Yada da da da. Yeketere basata. Oh, Shandai. Meko Torobosha. Nadarara. Meko Ndrosha. We unlock the blessings of God that the enemy has caused to be locked through the spirit of disobedience, through the spirit of of rebelliousness every lock that the enemy has locked up our destinies and our blessings our breakthroughs through the spirit of rebelliousness and disobedience right now as we re as we repent we oh god almighty command the devil and his agents to unlock our blessings Unlock our breakthrough. Unlock every doors of opportunity that he has closed for us through the spirit of disobedience, through the spirit of all call Shandai, through the spirit of rebelliousness in the name of Jesus as we have turned. We pray that everything will be given back to us. We obey God's voice. We receive upon us the submission to obey God's voice. We receive right now in our spirit man, in our spirit woman, a spirit of obedience, submission. Now God, we come against every temptation of the enemy. That may charge us to do things after our flesh. We come against every power of the flesh that is dominating our lives. We break and destroy it right now in the name of Jesus. For it is better. Obedience is better than sacrifice. And to listen is better than the fat of wrath. Lord, I pray, we pray. Lord, we pray for the grace to see your warnings and instructions. something too difficult give us the courage to follow your instruction strictly because there's a way that seemeth right to us but the end thereof is destruction Lord God, let us walk in your way because your way is higher than our ways. And your thoughts is higher than our thoughts. We pray, God, that your mercy will start to unlock every blessing that has been hindered by the act of disobedience, yes. We come against evil manipulations of the enemy to make us miss out on your blessings for us. We come against the spirit of bareness. Every form of barrenness is destroyed right now 
in the name of Jesus. I declare over us the spirit of excellence, of obedience. I declare over us obedience. I declare over us fruitfulness. I declare over us that we will strive as we obey the voice of God daily. I declare over us that as we obey the voice of God, we will move from victory to victory. We will move from height to height that we will inherit the good of the land as we walk in obedience. We tear down the walls of rebellion. We tear down the walls of disobedience. And we invite the spirit of obedience in our lives. Both now and forevermore. Amen. And amen. And amen. We thank the Lord for what he will do and what he will continue to do in our lives. If you're here and you're walking in rebellion because you have not accepted Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. You have rejected Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. Today you have to make a choice. Serve whom this day who you will serve. If you come in on 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 or if you come in contact with this video. And you have not yet received Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. Just say this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, I come to you today a sinner. I repent of my rebellion. I repent of my sins. I repent of my witchcraft. Lord, I'm asking you to come in my soul right now and take over. I'm asking you, Lord, to change me and rearrange me. Cause me to walk in your obedience. Lord Jesus, I believe that you are the Son of God. And I accept you as my personal Lord and Savior. Establish a relationship between me and you now, Lord. And have your way now in my life. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of salvation. If you have said that prayer, welcome to the household of faith. Find a Bible-believing church. Get baptized. Establish a relationship between you and God and serve the Lord in spirit and in truth. God bless each and every one of you. It was good for us to be here. Every time rebellion comes to tempt you, let that spirit know that it is a sin of witchcraft and you will not partake in it. If you're a first time viewer, welcome to Georgia Can't Hide the Truth End Time Ministries Midnight Prayer. Remember to follow us, like us. We're on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and YouTube on Georgia Can't Hide the Truth and Time Ministries. God bless each and every one of you. See you tomorrow as we continue on in prayer. It is a command of the Lord for us to pray without ceasing. 
for us to continue in prayer. God bless you, Carmen Brown. I love you. God bless you, Elsa. God bless you, Eden. God bless you, Auntie Andrea. God bless you, Natasha. God bless you, Estrelita. God bless all those that are ranks and right, those that are in and out. God bless you. I know that some of us are at work. I know that some of us is busy about doing other stuff, but it is expected because we know that the world is, is on a re revolving clock and some place is day and some place is night. Please continue to pray for us. Continue to lift me up before the Lord. Continue to place, to pray and mention this ministry to the Lord. That God will continue to guide and protect and lead us. As we too. Is expected to walk in obedience. God bless you all. And see you all my friends. And families. Shallow. May the blessings of the Lord be upon you. May he cause his face to shine upon you and present you faultless before his throne. No one to him the ever true God. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Blessings.